Our next performers are just about ready. Just a reminder to everybody, there's a lot going on out here. The Senior Center has Japanese pavilion, lots of Japanese arts. Food trucks are over there. We got food over in the Quinlan parking area. Please make sure you see everything today. We're so glad you're here. Our next performer today is Satsumo Dojo. They are one of our featured artists for 2024. Satsumo Dojo teaches traditional karate, an emphasis on etiquette, goal attainment, and personal development, which they believe leads to the way of life, karate do. Their dojo is special in that they teach two traditional styles of karate simultaneously, Shotokan and Shorinji. This traditional training is difficult to find. Sensei Castellano is one of the most highly respected martial arts instructors in all of the Western United States and is now chief instructor of Satsumo Dojo. He currently holds a seventh dan, a seventh degree dan in Shotokan Karate, from karate legend Hirokazu Kanazawa, and a third dan from Iwao Tomatsu. show you just a microcosm of a regular class. It'll consist of um, some basic movements and then we'll put them together in, in the form of katas or pre-arranged forms as well as kumite or yakusoku kumite, pre-arranged fighting sequences. Uh, well, let's we'll, we're gonna get started and we'll jump right into the basics. No, 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 I So we're starting with the basic punch. We're going to run through next a series of blocks and uh, kicks, and then we'll move into the, uh, the other pre-arranged forms. But before we get started, I just want to mention we've, um, we're very thankful to uh, Cupertino Cherry Blossom Festival. They've had us for 30, some, 30 plus years, and we're, we're just thrilled to be back again. Uh, we hope that we, we're helpful to uh, Cherry Blossom Festival. We hope that you folks enjoy the show. I'd like to, a special uh, thank you to uh, Yoshiko, Bar Yoshiko Bartel, who's back behind the screen now, but she did nominate us to be a uh, featured artist this year, and um, yeah, we'll do our best to uh, provide some good entertainment during our short demonstration today. So we're going to continue with the basics. Thank you. 
Thank you, everybody. So, uh, Satsuma Dojo, uh, we just, this month by chance, we just lo relocated to um, San Jose, Japantown. We're working out of the UI Kai Community Center there. And um, uh, I, I want to note, uh, you know, we're an all-volunteer, not-for-profit kind of operation. And um, uh, in years past, before the COVID, we had, um, in our other place in Sunnyvale, we had almost 200 members. And, you know, now uh, COVID, uh, affected everybody. We're still about 60 members strong or so sampling today. But um, I want a, a special recognition to uh, the team of the volunteer instructors uh, who you know, allow all of this to happen. Without uh, instructors, we couldn't accommodate all the multiple levels of ranks and ages that we have. So, um, the Sensei Stewart is there on the far side. Uh, Sensei Steve next there. Sensei Roddy is also here. Sensei Charlie, Sensei Kevin, and Sensei Abel. So these are all members of the Satsuma Dojo Board of Directors. Sensei Stewart's been, uh, we've been together for about 40, almost 45 years now, I think. Sensei Steve, maybe 44. <laughs> Sensei Roddy, about 43. So, but a long time for a lot of instructors. So again, it's really only through their volunteers and their commitment to the dojo that we're, we've been able to operate so well for so long. So next one, we're going to move to um, uh, kata, the prearranged forms. So these are, um, we're going to show you some rudimentary ones. These are uh, out of the 26 katas in our curriculum. We have five basic ones. And these are really w different ways of practicing the basics that you just saw in different, in different uh, stances and different directions. After that, after the first five, you'll see, um, and as you'll see the black belts demonstrate, uh, higher ranking katas are more uh, like reenactments of fighting sequence, not exactly, but reenactments of fighting scenes where we incorporate the variety of techniques that are within the Shotokan, our Shotokan Karate system. But let's start with the fundamentals. So all of our um, beginning and intermediate people, and by that I mean below the black belt level, they're going to uh, dem demonstrate uh, four of the five rudimentary katas that we have for you.
thanks everybody for your attention. So uh, roller contest, uh, you can see they're very uh, fundamental, comprising of a lot of the movements you saw in the first set, right. the basics. And then this is the uh, fifth of the five fundamental katas. This one, uh, as the highest one, you'll see there's much less symmetry right. and a greater variety of uh, techniques. So they've progressed with the st uh, different stances, different techniques, and then uh, different directions that they're moving. And again, this last one, much less uh, symmetry. Okay, and then uh, we've got uh, next. We're going to move into the uh, the more advanced forms. Uh, so we've got uh, these members are going to be showing you a kata called basai dai. So this is usually the first one we first kata we're teaching on the way to the black belt. You'll see it looks very different from the others in that there's much less symmetry, greater var variety of techniques. The timing will be different. Um, uh, sometimes height and uh, uh, the body movements will be more difficult in terms of hip rotation, etc. So, um, so uh, I'll, I'll explain a little bit more after. Thank you, everybody. So now the black belts are going to do the, um, more, some of the more advanced content. Advanced content. So we have, um, again, I mentioned 26 katas. There's um, uh, let's see, about 11 or so before black belt, and from first, second, third, fourth to be black belts. So another five katas they have to learn for um, each uh, new rank. And then this just happens to be a, one of the third degree katas. Um, so Jin, this again, a different set of stances. Some of these you've seen before, but some of the other stances are different. The timing and the variety of techniques are different. And uh, it's not just, we do Shotokan Karate, it's not just Shotokan, all the other systems are the same in that um, they, say, uh, they say everything you want to know about the system is embedded in the katas. Um, not necessarily the basics, and then not necessarily sparring. If you've ever seen uh, sparring, uh, karate uh, fighting in the competition, tournaments, uh, Olympic sports, when you're watching them fight, you can't really tell which system they're doing. Uh, they're all doing kick and punch, but so, uh, so it's more sports area oriented. Whereas a uh, traditional karate is very focused on uh, the specific techniques of the system. Ours are so our shotas unique, separate apart from uh, Goju Ryu or Sto Ryu or Wado Ryu or Shonen Ryu. Uh, 
they're all a little bit different. So these uh, these couple of punches you see the advanced black belts do are really good. Um, uh, characteristic of our system. Thank you, everybody. Now we're going to transition to the last part of the demonstration, which is to show you the prearranged sparring, the Yakso Kukumite. Um, excuse me. Uh, in our curriculum, we have uh, different levels of Kumite. Of course, we want to start simple and get more complicated. Uh, in our system, it's kind of, kind of counterintuitive, but the most basic beginning point is called five step sparring. Next level is three step sparring and then one step sparring. But uh, five step is easier because it's the same attack, same defense, five times. The same one five times. Uh, what you're going to see here, they're going to do the three step sparring, which is the next level, the intermediate level of uh, Yakuza Kumite. This is uh, one, uh, three different attacks, three different defenses. Um, and then later on, the next thing you'll see will be the one-step sparring. And that one, it'll be, again, a more complicated set of techniques, but also multiple defense, multiple Yo techniques in the defense. Whereas this one now, just one, one attack, one defense. Uh, you can see it's, it's, uh, it's using the basics that you saw earlier in the first part of the demonstration, but with these elements of timing and distance and application. The same movements, but now we have to time with the partner. In this case, we're trying to start together and end together. We're trying to make sure the distance is correct so it's not um, too far away, not too close. And then the application is, uh, if we're blocking something, we want to be sure we bump that arm out of the way. We bump the leg out, out of the way in a way that we can then, uh, it's advantageous to us to a full counterattack. So again, the same movements, but now with application. Thank you again, everybody. Okay, and then the next level up, we're, we're going to show you um, the one-step sparring. We actually have a basic one-step that looks so, uh, same, similar stances and similar form, but then we also have a freestyle one that will be a little bit more like fighting. It's just intermediate level between uh, so cool, pre-range and junior people, junior people free, uh, sparring, freestyle sparring. See that what they're doing here specifically is a jodan or upper body attack, and there's four different defenses that you're seeing for the jo just for the jodan. We're actually practicing six, but we're showing you only four today. And then now we're migrating to a chudan or middle body attack, and you'll see four of the six that we practice for the chudan. To, uh, front kick. Hey, 
just use the same format now we're going to migrate from the basic one step to the freestyle one step so it'll be uh, you'll see that for the Jordan attack four different defense or again a fighting style Okay, and then um, <coughs> we'll do, we're going to do two more things today. Uh, I'm going to uh, have some, some guys are going to help me here, and we're going to take those same things, we'll put them together in a different format one person, four attackers. But uh, we'll, um, you know, what we're practicing is really meant to be safe for everybody. But uh, these movements, uh, the interpretation uh, only goes so far. We'll show you a little bit now about the follow through that would. Um, if you were applying it, you would want to take the opponent down and finish them off. Every, you can see just now, what you saw, everybody's still standing up. Uh, but you know, in the next one, we'll, we'll take them down so you can see a little bit more what these same movements might look like with one ec extra finishing blow. Uh, and then afterwards, um, we're going to have a couple of people, a couple of pairs of people come up to do Chui Boku or Ju Kamite, which is more of a freestyle kind of uh, sparring. So you can see what it looks like completely um, unscripted. But let's do the last uh, four person one first.
Okay, the last thing we're going to show is the gentleman helping me, Sensei Steve, Sensei Abel, uh, Sensei Sexton, and Justin. We're going to just uh, light, uh, light freestyle sparring, just so you can see a variety of techniques. Uh, unscripted. Each person is looking for opportunities to find an opening. Other person is also doing the same. And to the extent they get attacked, they're looking for a good way to block and counterattack. Only uh, one minute today, okay? Again, this, uh, they're taking principles that they learned through the uh, uh, Yakshoku oh! Pilean Sparring, and this is just their own personal expression of freestyle sparring. They, everybody, uh, every person is different, everybody's uh, uh, strengths and weaknesses are different, so we try to capitalize on our strengths and capitalize on the opponent's weaknesses. Oh! Thank you, everybody. Okay, line up two lines, please. Come on, people, big round of applause for one of our featured 2024 artists, Satsuma Dojo. Yeah, thank you again, everybody, for uh, being here and supporting us. I uh, hope you had a good show. And then we have some contact information if you're interested over on the side when we're done. Uh, we're going to take pictures first. <laughs> <laughs>